Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In our last video, we ended our discussion on this question, right? x square minus 6x minus 40 plus 14b minus b square. So we talked about how we can factorize this type of algebraic expression by using our formula a square minus b square, which was a plus b and a minus b. But we also need to know some other formulas to factorize this expression, and one of them is a plus b square, which is a square plus 2ab plus b square, and the other one is a minus b whole square. These two formulas are pretty similar, except instead of plus here, we have minus, okay? So that's the formula of a minus b whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, so let's start factorizing this question. So first, what we are going to do is we are going to put these two terms containing x in a single bracket, and then these two terms containing b in another bracket. And we are going to put this minus 40 alone. So let's do that. So we have x squared minus 6x, right? I'm putting this inside a bracket. So before putting these in a bracket, I'm going to arrange them, okay? So first I'm going to write b square in front and then 14b at the back, right? And we have our minus 40 here. Let's put that b square and 14b as well in a bracket, okay? So we have x square minus 6x, and then we have minus, and then b square. And then you need to remember, okay, when there is minus, right, and you put bracket, the signs change inside the bracket. So this plus 14b is going to be minus 14b. And we have minus 40. Now this is the reason why I didn't put the brackets in the first step, because students might just put plus inside the bracket instead of minus when they do it directly. And now we have terms containing x inside one bracket and terms containing b inside another bracket. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to try to make these two expressions, right, in the form of a minus b whole square, okay, because there is a minus here, and there is a minus in these two expressions as well, okay, so let's try that. So we have our x square, right, minus, I'm going to try to make it like 2ab in the middle. So I'm writing here 2, and I'm writing a is our x, right, so x, and then the b is going to be 3, why? Because we have 6 here, and 2 times 3 is 6. Are you getting this? Okay. So minus, here also, I'm going to do the same thing. So we have b square minus, again, I need 2ab, right? So 2, our a is going to be b in this case, so b, and our b is going to be 7 in this case. Why? Because 2 times 7 is 14. So to find your b, you just divide this number by 2, and I'm going to close this bracket. We have our minus 40 there. So this is still the same as 6x, okay? 6x is 2 times 3 times x, and 2 times b times 7 is still 14b. We haven't done anything else here. Now what I need here is plus 3 square plus b square to convert it into this formula. And in this case, I need plus 7 square to convert it into this formula again, because I need plus b square at the end as well. So what we are going to do is we are going to add those 3 square and 7 square inside these brackets. And let's see what happens. So we have x square minus 2ab plus b square is plus 3 square, but I can't just add plus 3 square out of nowhere, right? So I'm going to add minus 3 square as well, so that plus 3 square and minus 3 square becomes 0. So I can add it like this. Similarly, for our second part, we have minus, so b square minus 2 dot b dot 7. I need to add plus 7 square, but I can't just add it out of nowhere, right? So that's why I'm adding minus 7 square as well. And then we have minus 40 here. So what we did in this step is we added plus 3 square and minus 3 square and plus 7 square and minus 7 square. Why are we adding this? So that we can convert it into this type of formula, a minus b whole square. So now what do we do? So we are going to remove these minus 3 square and minus 7 square out of this bracket, okay? So we have x square minus 2 dot x dot 3 plus 3 square, right? And I'm going to remove that minus 3 square out of the bracket, so I have minus 3 square. Similarly, I have minus b square minus 2 dot b dot 7 plus 7 square, and I need to remove that minus 7 square out of the bracket. But since we have minus here, right, so minus minus is going to be plus 7 square. And then we have our minus 40 here. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to convert this into our formula, okay? This is the formula of a square minus 2ab plus b square. Our b is 3, our a is x. So that would be a minus b whole square. We have our minus 9 there, minus 3 square is minus 9, minus, 
Again, this is also in the form of A minus B whole square. Our A is B in this case, and our B is 7. So this is going to be B minus 7 whole square, okay? A minus B whole square. And then we have our plus 7 square, which is plus 49. And then we have our minus 40 there. Now what's going to happen is these three numbers are going to disappear. But how? You see, we have minus 9, right? Minus 9 plus 49 is plus 40. And then we have plus 40 minus 40 is 0. So these three numbers are going to disappear. And we have x minus 3 whole square minus b minus 7 whole square. Because when we add and subtract these three numbers, they give us 0. And finally, we have our expression of a square minus b square. So this whole thing is our a and this whole thing is our b. And now we can use our formula of a square minus b square, right? Which is a plus b x minus 3 plus b minus 7 and a minus b. Again, our a is x minus 3 minus b is b minus 7. So we have a plus b, a minus b. And now we are just going to open up these brackets and we'll have our answer. So we have x minus 3 plus b minus 7. And here we have x minus 3 when you have minus and when you open up the brackets, the signs change, right? So it's going to be minus b, but minus 7 is going to be plus 7, okay? Minus minus becomes plus. Now we'll just simplify this and we'll get our answer, okay? So we have x, I'm going to write this plus b in front, so plus b, and minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10. Similarly, in our second case, we have x, right? So x minus b, okay, this minus b, minus 3 plus 7 is plus 4. And done, we have factorized our expression. Now I know this one looks pretty long, right? There are lots of steps here. That's because I was trying to explain every step of the way. So we are going to try to do another one with less steps. Okay, so here we have our next question. Okay, you can try to solve this one by yourself by pausing your video and you can check whether your answer is correct or not. So let's go, I'm going to try to solve this one. So first I'm going to put these a's in a single bracket, right? So a square minus, but I'm also going to arrange them. Okay, so 2 dot a dot 5. And we have to put this in a bracket. And then we have 9 minus 9b square plus 6b. So minus, I'm going to write that 9b square here, 9b square. That plus 6b is going to be minus 6b, bracket close, and plus 24, okay? I didn't do this one directly, okay, because it might look complicated. So I'm going to try to do that in our next step. So we have a square minus 2 dot a dot 5. I need to add plus 5 square. And I need to add minus 5 square as well, okay? I'm directly putting it out of the bracket. And for our second case, we have minus 9b square, right? So 9b is going to be 3b whole square. And I have minus 2 dot, I need a, so I need to write 3b. But 2 times 3 is already 6b. So I can add times 1, right, when there is nothing. And I need b square. So 1 square is what I need, okay? So I'm going to close this bracket. And I need to add minus 1 square, right, out of the bracket. But like we did in our previous question, when there is minus sign here, when I'm bringing that minus 1 square out of the bracket, it will be plus 1 square, right? So minus minus is going to be plus 1 square. And then we have our 24 here, right? So I'm going to write that 24 there. Now we have our a square minus 2ab plus b square, and that is going to be a minus b whole square. Our b is 5 in this case. Similarly for this one, we have a square minus 2ab plus b square again. So I'm going to write that as a minus b whole square. And we know that minus 5 square is minus 25. Similarly, plus 1 square is plus 1. And then we have plus 24. So these two are going to be plus 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. And now we are going to use our formula of a square minus b square, okay? So a plus b is going to be a minus 5 plus 3b minus 1. And a minus b is going to be a minus 5 minus, when there is minus, I need to put the bracket here, right? So 3b minus 1. So I'm going to put them in a curly bracket. And now we have a plus 3b minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6, bracket close. And in this case, we have a minus 5, and then minus 3b plus 1. And then we have a plus 3b minus 6. And for our second part, we have a minus 3b minus 4. And done, we have factorized this. So if you enjoyed our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future maths videos. Thank you.